Hi, everybody. Welcome to Kopi Cafe, episode 33. Hard to believe. It's one week after Thanksgiving. Rob, are you doing finger just that finger? Just are you going to do that with every number from now on? Is that the deal? No, because you said I was doing a mafia salute last time. So, I <laughs> so changing it up. Nice memory. All right. So, episode 33, got Rob Gregg here, Josh Jones. Glad to communicate with you guys on what all we have going on with Cornucopius. It is a lot. I wish we could tell you everything, but uh, we've got a few things we're going to talk about today. And then we have a very special guest, some guys that we've been talking to for a little over the last year, somewhere around there, maybe nine months. I don't know, but it feels like we've been talking to them for quite a while. Uh, good community members and friends and uh, a powerful force as well in the crypto industry. So it's great to have those guys on. You'll see them pretty soon when we bring them up. Um, Rob, what are you eating today? Well, my eating today, um, I've got pasta today. Hmm. Pasta. Hmm. Sounds good. Um, I'm not eating anything, in case you were curious. I'm drinking a oh. Waterloo, though. Oh. Shocker. I've got an apple goose. An apple juice. Yep. Is that organic apple juice? Is that uh, sugar added apple juice? Let me look at the macros on that thing. Probably. Yeah, we've gone through. It's probably this. awful for you. Don't I'm worry about it, though. Don't worry nightmare. about spiking your insulin levels. No, we no, don't need good. to talk about health on this show. What? No. <laughs> straight to it. All right. Let's get straight to it. Speaking of um, the Cardano index. Wait, what? Were you about to say something? Mm -hmm. Looked like you had something there. No, no, no. I was going to throw a funny in, but it, was in, it wasn't It was very funny. I was going to talk about if I'm going to have an apple juice next Wait, week. Wait, you I'll... actually have a filter? I, I wasn't sure that you had a filter that shut things yeah, off. Yeah, well, I'm going to sneak it through now anyway. <laughs> so next week, I'll, I'll have a Google juice. A go That's disturb. That's, yeah. yeah. Okay. I see why you edited that. That's good. Yeah. So, um, do we need to talk about World Cup at all? or The World Cup. Yeah, you did well. You got through. Yeah, we did. Do you see that goal? I did. No, no. For for some reason, somebody arranged a, a Twitter space live while England were playing. But also, I uh, had I was on the Twitter space I, watching. Yeah, I, and I, I, heard I, you, I heard you cheer. Yeah. Why not? No, I no purposely unmuted myself so that I could cheer for that goal in the Twitter well, spaces. Well, yeah. I mean, no wonder we had an audience of of two people <laughs> when the whole of England and America were watching football, and we're yeah, doing the a timing live was tough for them on that one. That that was. They probably didn't. They probably didn't know that World Cup schedule when they planned it. Who knows? But that was good to good to be on. It's fun I think game they were to watch. Australian though, weren't they? But so Australia yeah. went through as well. So so everyone yeah. did well. Yeah, true, true. I cannot wait until Saturday. Saturday's game. Do you guys play on Saturday? Yeah, we're playing Senegal. Same time again, or what? Is us? Know. Okay. Uh, no. oh, I don't know. All right. Well, there's our what are you drinking, what are you eating, and what's the World Cup update. So I'm sure everyone's on just uh, pens and needles, just so excited about what we're talking about here. Surprised people watch this show sometimes. I'm, I'm sat on pens and needles. <laughs> okay. Cool. No, good. We have we have good content. We create good content and, and fun stuff uh, with with what's going on with the game. We got the Cardano index through Blue Shift. That's that is live and up. And there's a tutorial. Uh, I believe it's been shared to Discord um, and Twitter. But there's a tutorial in case anybody has any questions on how to utilize that or whatever. But it's basically a, another Dex that you can go. And they have some interesting um, means of putting grouping uh, projects together in portfolios. Uh, so some pretty creative solutions with Blue Shift. And uh, they're highly secure. They utilize the Milkameda network, uh, mm -hmm. which is which is cool. Uh, you know, a further demonstration of interoperability uh, on Cardano, and another way for us to get visibility to other chains. But yeah, yeah, I think I think it's great, and um, to be asked to be one of the top ten projects to to make up that initial Cardano index, that's that's pretty cool in my books. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I. I hope they do well and hope they succeed. It's pretty exciting. And uh, pretty soon here, we need to start thinking about how we might start getting the word out to other chains because now it is very easy, whatever chain you're on, to, to bridge over and own some Kopi tokens. And um, so we need to start getting people aware 
of what we're doing on other chains, but that's a whole another topic. Well, think about that later. Yeah. Um, there's a lot to think about with that, but a uh, new react developer, he mm -hmm. has started, uh, as of Monday and yep. Michael. Yeah. I'm curious your thoughts on that. I'll say that my, uh, sentiment on it is he's very talented. He was found within our community. He's been a part of what we're doing. He knows the project really well, and he does a phenomenal job of, uh, you know, he's the one. <laughs> Just doxed Staked. him now, huh? You've just doxed him. Have I really? Mm -hmm. um, well, you've doxed his Discord account. I've doxed his dis. Mark, scratch that out. Anyway, I'm excited about him because we've got we've got the gamification of education platform. We've got the website redesign. We've got the dashboard for people to see their rewards and view their NFT holdings and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the desktop. We've got just so many different projects going in parallel. And I think he's, it's just really needed that we have that central admin and we, it, it, that that's all coded. Well, it's not just a WordPress template or whatever. I don't know. I'm excited about it. What about you? Yeah, definitely. Because we've had um, an idea for um, what shall we say? An add on f for the, for the flying vehicles for a while we just haven't been able to create the tech and he'll be able to create the tech for that so that's yes, kind of, that's that's a leak without revealing what the leak is but i think it'll be huge i think so too i'm very excited good glad you're excited so speaking of excited crypto am how was that for you crypto am was really really good yeah, we went down to, uh, well, the Cardano Summit before that. Do we want to talk about that first? Yeah, sure. So we couldn't make the Cardano Summit, um, but we did make two videos for it, which was great. And then we also shared um, a live panel. Yeah, and but, if you haven't seen those videos that we made for it, we'll be sure to include those in the link in this uh, video as well as links below so you can check those out. But yeah, we shared the live panel. What was your thoughts on that overall? It's I, I learned that it's quite difficult to share a live panel when two of you are remote and four of them are in a live studio. <laughs> yeah, you kind of almost have to bully yourself into the conversation. Yeah, uh, awful. I, I, I won't do that. I won't do a panel that way again, I don't think. Yeah. It's either everybody's, live, everybody's uh, connected via internet in the cloud or we're all present because... Yeah, it just feels weird, and I think there's a delay, slight delay on signal, makes it really awkward yeah. to join the conversation. But uh, I think it went well, con considering the challenges. And I think it was pretty cool of uh, the foundation to actually take that kind of risk and and put that yeah. effort forward to attempt getting two people that are not in the same location together with people on uh, that are physically present. I think it was. Pretty bold move by the foundation. Pretty awesome that they were willing to try yeah. it. Uh, it, that's, it that's seemed to sure. work. I watched it back and it, it looked pretty smooth watching back. Well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Well, you know me. I, I don't like hearing my voice or yeah. seeing my face on video. So, Do you know I what I remember voice. about that the most? is Because we were kind of backstage waiting to go live. We were watching Clay Nation talk to Hosky in, yeah. in his outfit, and it was just, it was really weird. <laughs> just, what do you mean? Just, just sharing, a pan, sharing a panel with, with Hosky oh, dressed, yeah, in, yeah. dressed in his massive costume. It's fun. Thinking, That's how we walked around yeah. uh, Rare Bloom. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was definitely different. Yeah, definitely different. Well, the, the, the summit overall was good success. Yeah. Uh, you got quoted a couple of times from our panel. Yeah, Cardano Good. Foundation um, quoted some of the words that I said, which, which was great. I don't think I said them in that quite that order, but they, they managed to make it into a really good quote. So, so I wish I'd said it in that order. <laughs> well, great job on the panel. And uh, yeah, I, I do agree the videos that we got to share from being the metaverse and gaming category winners, whatever that, that how that panned out it, it gave us a great opportunity to showcase some of our work 
And it was a bummer that we couldn't be there in person, but hey, um, do what you can. Uh, and tell us anything about the crypto AM. Yeah, so it, it, the day after the summit ended, the, the crypto AM um, started in London. So I, I did go down to, to London, took, took some teammates with us. Um, and yeah, we, we met quite a few people there. We met, um, obviously, James Bowater, who, who, who organized it. Um, we met David Taylor and quite a few people from the Cardano Foundation. And, and that's where they said, you know, although you weren't there, having that video made such a big impact because it was very visual and, and you know, people people really, really enjoyed that. Um, we Power also... Video. Who else did I see? I saw, I saw Meld there. I spoke to Clay Nation. I spoke to um, quite a few. The, the, the biggest thing that stood out for me at, at those that award ceremony, which was which was later on, because I did a talk there as well, was when there, there was about I think there was about a hundred tables there, and every table I think was up for one of the awards. And when people were reading out the nominations, whatever table that nomination for, you know, there, there was like a, a quiet cheer, maybe mm -hmm. some a, a bit louder. But when they did our award. And they said cornucopius. Not only did our table cheered, the Cardano Foundation table cheered, Clay Nation table cheered, World Mobile, Kudos, Tingo. It was definitely you could see it was a community rather than individuals because because that event was was all kind of like Ethereum and Binance and and Bitcoin, but Cardano all got up and supported the, our project which was really unexpected and took me back. And I thought, this, this is just amazing. I don't care if we don't win now. <laughs> and I got my wish. <laughs> hey, well, we didn't win, uh, but that's okay. That's quite yeah. all right. Well, well so we, do, we don't have a live project, to, to be fair, at the moment. You know, we're, we're still building, and, and we were up against um, quite true. a project that won last, last year uh, and established projects in, in the Ethereum ecosystem. So I think it'll be a lot different next year than the one after. Well, yeah, thanks for spearheading that conference. Wish, wish I could have been there. Glad that uh, it went well. And we're definitely thankful for the Cardano community support that cheered you on up there. That's always awesome. Hopefully yeah. you were cheering back for them. I'm sure you were. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, got, and, we got on really, really well. It, 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 is, it is great. These, these events are great for networking events to not only see you know, Cardano projects, but also other projects and there's businesses there as well that that are interested in web3 mm -hmm. and you get to listen to their pain points and also you can see they're interested that they're, they're looking for an angle so i spoke to quite a few um other projects and a few large businesses so so what comes off the back of that will be i think will be really really interesting yeah that's great no telling uh endless possibilities for partnerships and and things of that nature but mm -hmm. we've got a lot of building to do there's no doubt about that so we're very heads down on building right now everyone is and we had a major breakthrough this morning uh for the physics and the racing game very exciting that that's that's happening uh and and speaking of the racing game that's somewhat related to our special guests so we're going to bring them up here very shortly but another thing I want to mention before we do that is the mobile game. Yep. That is coming along really well. And I think uh, we're going to be internal testing here in about uh, two weeks, I believe, which means we'll, we'll gradually, as the art is ready, uh, to make it more public. We'll uh, test that. Introduce, yeah, introduce, increase our testing uh, groups over mm -hmm. time, which is very exciting because I think it's going to be uh, phenomenal. So, but yeah, with the, with the racing, the breakthrough that they had today, that's huge. Enabling massive speeds with, uh, very little, uh, with a very smooth look and feel to it yeah. and, uh, across multiple servers in multiple countries. I, th I think that's a it's, a, it's a big challenge. People don't know, people don't understand what all goes into that. And, uh, they've been working on it for, for two weeks. So huge breakthrough. It's going to be amazing for the game. Very exciting. And now then we saw we have, a, huh? Sorry. Uh, no. then, then we saw a, a, a map creator algorithm. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm. That's right. That 
special. Very, yeah, which is going to be very helpful for the mobile game to uh, randomly sort maps and, and create levels. Uh, it'll, it creates efficiencies and, and some fun, really fun ways of building out levels. So that'll be exciting to reveal that when the time comes. All right. So here we are. We've been talking about a special group of guys, uh, Chris and Nick from the Cheeky Crypto Project. Let's bring them up. There he is. Here they hey. are. Hello. Hi, How's Jess. Things? How are you? Yeah, all yeah. good. Been uh, super, super busy, but, um, you know, in a good way, right? Like uh, like you guys say, you know, building and yeah. uh, working hard in the background, which is what you should do in a bear market, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Both so, markets. Build, Chris, build, build. Yeah. Chris and your crewmate, Nick, what are you drinking? Mm. Do you want to go I'll first, go Nick? Chris. Well, yeah, I went real local. I was looking at uh, some other places and, and all that, but I, I decided I would stay local and I went for, for Red Bull. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, you know, inspired from the the F one team, of course. All right. Yeah. And Thinking about I, racing. I I went um, similar with the energy drink, but it was more trying to keep it in in theme more than anything. Uh, so I went for the uh, Valentino Rossi uh, energy drink uh, monster. Oh, are you guys hinting at racing? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. I am, uh, you guys I'm not have open anything this. to do with racing? Love this racing. Is a major, yeah. this, is, this is a fun leak that we get to have a, a interview and leak kind of at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so bef before we get into that, everybody's, you know, hopefully excited to learn about what you guys have to do with racing with us. But um, before we get too far into that, what what's Cheeky Crypto all about? What's your mission? What are you guys doing? So I'll, t I'll take this one, Nick. We, we, we're really a YouTube channel, sort of is the primary business um and we really want to support people build generational level wealth through investing you know with good risk management and uh support people navigate the market really and you know we did fantastically well in the the previous uh bear bull market um made you know a sizable amount of money and uh you know we detail how we do this uh, as we're doing it so uh, we've got that, and then obviously um, we've got our own NFT project and, and various other things. I don't know if you want to sort of cover that off, Nick. Uh, well, the NFT project's more your kind of side of things, but you know, I spend most of my days in the charts looking at what's going on with Bitcoin, Cardano, Zeta, and all these other kind of cryptocurrency assets. And um, I leave you to deal with more of the, the kind of the building out of the kind of the bigger picture, if that makes sense. Yeah, so... Uh, we we have a, a an NFT project where uh, the idea is um, the NFT holders can own the the NFT and that will act as a VIP pass to get into um, like a private club within like a play to earn game um, or metaverse for example uh, and the idea is that we can try to connect uh, retail investors with prominent people within the crypto space. I mean, uh, if anybody has watched the channel. Um, we've done interviews with uh, Charles Hoskinson, um, you know, Dr. Ben Goetzel, who were actually with the the other day as well uh, with the uh, Singularity uh, Group. Um, we were with the team the other the other week, and um, you know, various other people, you know, from from different ecosystems in in the in the blockchain world. So, um, yeah, we hope to try to to bridge that gap and put people in the same room with these individuals for networking events and and stuff like that, and then. Um, we, we also work on physical clothing. So we've got a clothing brand. Um, we're going to be uh, doing a, an announcement uh, probably in the coming weeks with uh, which blockchain uh, company we're partnering with because you'll be able to tap your phone on it and authenticate it. It will be on the, the blockchain. Uh, and eventually we want to look to link that to avatar clothing as well. Uh, very cool. So you're doing a digital you're doing an nft i guess that's somehow connected with the physical article of clothing yeah that's pretty much it yeah so you know you, you'll have the option to to purchase like a, an avatar um you know item of clothing mm -hmm. uh, and then have the physical delivered or vice versa very cool very cool nice so yeah what are you excited about in terms of what we've got going with you guys let's let's leak some some alpha yeah it's been um been in the works for a while now i think we met in august 2020 i believe and uh yeah. it was a 
the Crypto AM, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, the going back one. some time now. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so, yeah, this has um, been something that we've, we've sort of wanted to do uh, for, for a long time. And uh, when we met in, in August, like we were like, we know that is the project we want to do it with. Uh, from from the passionate conversation that you you guys had with us uh, around what you were were planning on doing back then so yeah really really excited thankfully a lot of those plans that we had have worked out well <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you never know back at that time that was so early august yeah. of 2021 wow one of the first That's times i actually met you face to face josh yeah no it is the first time isn't it I think yeah, it was. Yeah. It was yeah. It, so is it was the first time. Yeah, it yeah. was the very first time. Yeah, because yeah, I flew over to London and for the Crypto AM conference, and we've been talking, I guess, for three or four months at that point, yeah. just via Google meetings. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> very very uh, good to have you guys on the show. Um, the uh, racing outfit is what we're working on together. And yeah. uh, that that is developed quite nicely. I'm I'm pretty excited about it. We're doing the NFT sale uh, on December, I believe. Ooh. Are we announcing that date right now? You just did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Unless we edited it out. <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't. So we've yeah, got we, the the I, Christmas I, NFT sale that we're targeting for that date, and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. We've talked about some utility for it within your community. You want to tell us a little bit about that? or? Yeah. So uh, yesterday we, we had another uh, partnership announcement, which was to partner with uh, a company called Cryptopia. Uh, so they're a, a, a VC. And um, part of the utility is going to be access to private sales through Cryptopia. Um, you know, they, they really focus on sort of tier one, you know, top notch projects. There's none of those meme coins or, or anything like that. Um, and they really do research the the projects. And we've we've worked with them on a few things over the last, what, six months, I think, Nick. And, yeah. um, you know, really successfully. I mean, uh, in that period of time, I've also researched what they've, they've sent over and um, some of the projects have just been really top notch. So really happy about that partnership and the access that that, you know, can give to to, to individuals because um, you can make a, a, a decent size uh, amount of money from getting into the good you know solid projects super early and like seed seed round and, and private rounds and stuff so uh, that will be uh, accessible for for all the nft holders that's awesome very yeah. exciting are they like um, a launcher yes yeah, um more like a <clears throat> like a um like a funding um okay type project so it's they, more like they will, crowdfunding you would say yeah yeah that's it more like crowdfunding um so to give people like that perhaps don't have like you know thousands of pounds to to invest right. yeah. The, yeah the opportunity to maybe invest one or two hundred dollars for example yeah. so you can get access that way and i think it's a really good way of opening the door uh for people with you know not as much capital to, to start to build that capital up so then they can go and you know make larger investments at a later date mm-hmm. yeah that's awesome it's on yeah very 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 cool so that's a great utility and obviously the further utility for that would just be the actual racing suit and in our game so playing mm-hmm. uh, the game which we are targeting for next year uh, first quarter if we can releasing that. Uh, to the public. Major breakthroughs in it just this morning. Uh, We're very excited about uh, releasing that game and just excited about this partnership. Let's see where this goes and and how this works out. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, You guys have anything else you want to say to our our community or yours? uh, Um, I I think there's a a big group of our community in in your Discord and and vice versa. So yeah, it's been... uh, I've been I've been asked a, a few questions when we said you can register your your VIP pass in in uh, Corner Copus's Discord. Everyone's scratching their heads asking why. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think there's going to be a few people um, you know laughing once they uh, realise we're <laughs> we've been on Kobe Cafe. We well, are um, our first official NFT brand partnership. Do all those words make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So what we 
so I guess the call to action there is that we need uh, people in your community to come over and to our Discord and and uh, fill that out or go through that process, right? Because you'll to, get a role. Register. You'll get a role for the mint. Yeah, yeah. And do, I would imagine if if we don't have directions up, we'll we'll include those in the uh, description below as well. How, how to get there, how to find out what to do, uh, and then hopefully you guys continue passing that along to your community, and we'll get that set up. But uh, yeah, thanks a, a ton for coming on the show, guys. It's good to have you on. I know you have a lot of uh, people in your community that that are familiar with Cornucopia. So uh, hello to all of them. Hopefully they're watching the show. Yeah. And uh, you've got a nice play button there. Uh, yes. Yeah. That must yeah. mean something. Yeah. yeah I need, um, to, need to work on the next one. Is that a uh, when, when you get to 100,000 followers or something crazy? Yeah, like that's that? a 100K. Yeah. Ah, what does a million look like? I wonder. Is that's that pretty big... much the same, just gold. It's, yeah. it's when you okay. get to about a hundred million, that's where the the true stuff comes in, right? A hundred million. <laughs> don't, you, don't you get like a diamond one at that point? Yeah. That better come with a real life bubble jet, or a, you know, <laughs> yeah, <that> actually has <laughs> floating and hovering ability. I, don't I, I wonder if we'll ever get one of those play buttons, Josh. Uh, well, we better we speed up our content production <laughs> if we're gonna get there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah maybe when knows? we're on episode three hundred and thirty-three. 333 so 10 times from well the math plays out there rob yeah. it does because i think we're about 10,000 followers right now yep but uh yeah so uh okay we got a leak let's let's show you guys i think you guys have seen this but you may not have seen it uh as it is with the um the vehicle in the background but this is a little fun thing for you to share with your audience for you guys to see here we go Ooh. Whoa. All right, the racing suit. So this is this is the uh, digital representation here of of what's happening in our our realm. The racing suit with the javelin in the background. I love it. That's sexy. What do you guys think? Limited yeah. edition. Looks looks cool. <laughs> like I like the red. Yeah, it's uh, it's fitting for my drink. You know, Red Bull and all that. So it's good. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> uh, good. Absolutely. Well, we're excited to get this going. So everybody, uh, please play along, get registered, get ready. That's going to be a fun sale. Uh, our next sale, our Christmas sale. And we're also giving away uh, some some NFTs in that Christmas sale. I won't give any further detail on that. They're not racing related, really. No, nope. uh, they're more bling but it, but related. It a, but it will be a multiple mint. Yes, multiple mint, several different items uh for sale in this uh upcoming sale uh very small sale in terms of total ada and all of that but yeah. still going to be fun and a uh, little christmas um uh, you know type of nft meant so excited to have it it's quite menacing Thanks. the look, the look Do on that helmet isn't it? it means it means business it definitely does <laughs> it is it, it does it kind of lets you know that that driver is uh quite yeah. serious they, they want to win <laughs> yeah we're hoping it, you know, the, the point of this, we want to build this out and get, uh, you know, esports going. So we've figured out a way to have some dynamic metadata uh, and to have data associated with a, a racers, you know, um, races and, and how well they've done and what's associated with this particular NFT. So we've got some fun things that we'll be able to do with that uh, in the future. And uh, that's all coming next year. So. Does, anyway, does thank it, you guys a ton for, for joining the show. Uh, I guess that's it for this Kopi Cafe. Rob, do you have anything else? I do not. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah thank you for being it. here. And uh, thank you for watching this uh, episode 33 of Kopi Cafe. Everybody have a great evening, great day. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye.